Hello, this is Chris Rowlands for bestwindowsmobileapps.com giving you the second part of my two-part review of Resco Explorer 2010. So I'm going to show you the Explorer itself now. Um, as you'll see, it's got this big area for actually viewing your files and folders. There's a little taskbar along the bottom. Uh, when you scroll, it brings up this sidebar. Um, very much like the random access in the contact, um, which was introduced a while back. Clicking up in the top corner here will bring up a tree view of your device. Um, up here, your favorite folders, which you can use quite well, I use it quite frequently. Um, the toolbar has many options on it. So there's um, make a new folder, back, forward, delete, copy to, cut to, um, that one is send to, uh, find, the searching on this, um, either you can use this to search all your files or a specific folder, or you can tap up there to do a quick search of whatever you've got on screen, so search for PIM, yeah, I've just closed it, okay, whoops, there I have, got it back again, um, you can choose a variety of views um, for how you want to see your files so there's small icons the first one was large icons um, details report and um, possibly the most impressive thumbnails so if I navigate to somewhere where there's a whole bunch of images let's go to, to my wallpapers there as you can see rather rapidly brings up a bunch of little uh, thumbnails, which I've just dropped my stylus. So um, I'm going to change that back to large icons. That's my favourite one. I find it most useful. Um, when actually using your files, you can, in fact, going talking about pictures, you can upload directly to a whole bunch of different things. Facebook. Picasa, Twitter, Flickr, Photobucket, and Fotkey. I've never actually heard of Fotkey, but it's nice to have it there anyway. Um, alongside the Upload to feature, you can um, encrypt, uh, so you can add a password or remove a password um, to a file or folder. Also, you can compress, so sending it to a zip file. Um, Oh, and I'm doing that now, so, yep. Um, okay, I now have it there. Um, now, when you keep pressing up, because if you can leave, that's that's the root of your device, that's what you normally get to when you keep pressing up, but press it up again, and you get this. These are your favourites, as shown up there. Um, there are, in fact, six things there. There's your device virtual folders which is a feature similar to the libraries on Windows 7 um, so it groups well it searches for and groups a whole bunch of files of the same type so for example documents when I open that up it'll show you all my word um, Excel files and notes so that, well, it's quite handy um, when I go into my music I've noticed that it doesn't actually include the music from my storage card so I don't know if that's just um, searching for those on my device. Now, another feature here is the recycle bin. So when you delete files, it'll go straight to the recycle bin and not actually get deleted from your device straight away. Um, do not expect this to work throughout the rest of your device, though. When you install Resco Explorer 2010, um, you cannot then go into another program like um, Total Commander or um, the Explorer built that comes with your device and expect the recycle bin to work. If you delete files they will not be able to come back. Um, you can also use FTP for using um, network storage stuff like that. Uh, I tried searching through my network and uh, accessing files on my PC because I set up a little FTP server um, I didn't actually manage to get that to work. I don't know if that was a problem with my device or because I'm running Windows 7 and I'm not sure if I actually had it working properly. 
I don't know, but as of yet I've not really managed to get any of the networking tools to work. But um, I have heard of them working very well. But, yeah, for those who know how to use it properly, that's there. Um, also, another thing which, um, well, the FTP add-in and the registry add-in, you don't have to install those. They are not there by default. They are add-ins which do come um, included with RESTGO Explorer, but you don't have to install them. Um, the registry editor is actually a very good example of a registry editor. Normally they're just nasty little lists looking something like, um, well, that. And that's it. That's all you have. And they go out like that. And that's really quite confusing for me, I think. Um, so, so you have the option of viewing it in different ways, smooth scrolling, looking through. Um, and it's quick. It's very quick. Uh, actually, the entire app is very quick and smooth. Um, so, yes, using this, you can go through and edit your registry very, very easily. Um, so let's actually go into my device. Just to show how quick this can run, let's open the Windows folder, because that's always a tricky one. Let's go Windows. Um, two, three, four, done. Um, using Windows Explorer, it normally takes much longer than that to get in there. And scrolling down there is, is a hassle with uh, Windows Explorer. Um, so using Resco Explorer, it's it's just... I wouldn't describe it as a joy, but it's much easier. Um, the final thing that I'll, I'll say about this is that Resco Explorer is incredibly customizable. Um, most of the interface, like stuff up there, you cannot change. Um, the way you view your files and folders, that you can change. So as, as I showed you before, so small icons, etc, etc. Um, you can change the bar along the bottom by going to Menu, Options, Customize. And then here shows you a whole bunch of different things. So there's um, Enable Touch Scrolling and stuff like that. You can download skins for Resco Explorer. I have not actually downloaded any, but I know I've seen before that there are plenty out there. Um, you can change the way that you view, off, view your files there. Um, you can actually change the colour of the text for different file types. So if you want a specific file type to come up as, say, red and another one to come out as blue, then you can do that there. Um, this is where you change your t little toolbar across the bottom, um, where you can select which different options you want there. You can also change it to have large icons, which makes it a lot more finger friendly, but you can't fit as much on screen. Um, go across again and you can add keyboard shortcuts. Oop, there you go. Um, I've not actually assigned any because Touch Pro 2 doesn't really have that many buttons but you can include any of these on any button so that's quite handy. Uh, as you can see the taskbar has changed so it's just simply nicer, more finger friendly options. Let's go to general options. Um, you can choose which which folder opens when you, uh, whenever you open it up. Um, you can hide different files. Oh, that's options on over the uh, getting confirmation, um, copying and moving. Also, what file viewers you want to do, want to use when opening different types of files. Um, so the whole experience can be changed really to suit however you want to use this as an explorer. So, overall, I think Resco Explorer, um, some people may think that just under $18 is too expensive. I really don't, for what you get. You get a desktop plugin, uh, a Today plugin, Task Manager, um, the ability to use Recycle Bin, um, you get a registry editor, and a fantastic file explorer. Um, I personally f feel that it is it is a brilliant app, finger friendly, easy to use, smooth, looks good, um, overall very good. Thank you for watching, this has been my two part review on Resco Explorer, hope you enjoyed it, goodbye.